Okay, what's going on everybody? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Deacon and welcome to my incredible podcast. Now before we continue any further, do not forget to hope smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Share this with your boys and your families. Follow me on Instagram. Smash that bell notification button and enjoy. Let's get started. Our top story for today shall be Get the Fuck Out of My Way by Washington State Police Officer Brianna Strauss. Now, I'm going to present to you a TikTok clip that was made by this officer who just got suspended after going viral for this clip that she published. This female had the audacity to come up with the video where she claims that she can pull you over even if they don't have any reason to pull you over. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. PSA to everyone out there, I'm speaking for myself, but I'm probably speaking for a large majority of other officers out there. If we're driving on the freeway in our police car, get the f*** out of the way. Get the f*** out of the way. If you merge and we follow behind you and we merge too, you're probably in trouble. The best way to find that out is get the f*** out of the way. I can go 90 miles an hour. You can't. You can't do that. So get the f*** out of the way. If us officers stay behind you long enough, we can find a reason to pull you over. So you might as well get the f*** out of the way. Super simple. That's all. You're welcome. So, without hesitation, let's discuss about this case. When you have officers like her out there patrolling in our streets and in our freeways, and it doesn't matter if it's a guy or a female, when you have officers like her out there in uniform with their own sidearms and badges, that puts all of us in trouble because she is most definitely the type of officer that will abuse the fuck out of her power. Put this down on the comment section below this video. If you agree with me when I say that she will abuse the fuck out of her authority, put down your honest opinions on the comment section right now. Don't get me wrong. There is no doubt on my mind that she's physically attractive. But notice how I did not say that she's beautiful. I simply said that she is physically attractive. Which means that she has the looks, but her personality is trash. So if you pay attention to how she acts, you can clearly see that she exudes masculine fucking energy. She acts like a guy, which is absolutely unattractive. For those of you beta males out there, for those of you simps out there that genuinely believe that she's attractive when she talks like a guy, you are fucking pathetic. You are pitiful, and I pity you. And I don't feel bad for her. I feel bad for y'all simps that fall for females like her. Because females like Officer Strauss right here are trained to psychologically manipulate you and use you for what you have. And she will take everything that you have. All of the free attention, free validation, free drinks, free money, everything that you have. She could take it all away from you at the snap of a finger. That's how fast she can play games towards you. And y'all beta males have no spine whatsoever to some of the stuff that she said. Notice how she said, if they stay behind you long enough, we can find a reason to pull you over. So in plain English, what she meant was, if I need to pull you over, I need something. And if I don't have anything, I will make some shit up. That's what she really means. Folks, at some point in your lives... You will come across an officer like this one, man or female, it don't matter. You will come across an officer that will stop you for some unspecified reason, personal or not. They may have some sort of personal vendetta against you. There may be something about you that triggered their bad side. So guess what you can do to them? Should the situation escalate at all, you do have the right to bring forth a lawsuit against the officer who pulled you over. So let's say Officer Strauss over here pulls you over because she claims that you have something in your car, specifically in your trunk that she deems illegal. So let's be realistic here. The naked eye does not see everything. You cannot see through the trunk of your car unless you're Superman. Because as we all know, Superman can see through walls and objects. But let's assume that she stops you and she says that she needs to check your trunk. All you have to do are the following things. Take out your phone and start recording. Say to her, I do not consent to searches, which is pursuant to the Fourth Amendment of Searches and Seizures. And this is if she violates your rights. Get an attorney ASAP and sue them. 
So, gentlemen, here's what we can learn from this. Instead of a female cop coming out and saying this trash, let's say if it were a guy saying the same thing that she said on this clip. Lots of people would take offense to him and call it toxic masculinity. Well, in this case, it was a female that said these things. Therefore, gentlemen, for those of you in the Red Pill and the MGTOW communities, we have the right to call this toxic femininity because these females have no right to talk down to us, especially an officer who has a sidearm and a badge. So as I said earlier, the good news is that she just got suspended for this. The only thing is that the suspension didn't even last that long. According to this article right here, it was only 10 hours of suspension and then she was sent back to patrol the streets. So a lot of people got really upset with this because the people that suspended her don't even have the spine to do the right thing which is take her fucking sidearm and badge away and send her on her way permanently that would be the appropriate punishment in this case just remember your rights for when you get stopped record the entire interaction do not consent to searches and stay still and do not move unless they tell you and you should be fine as for this female officer, I would not be surprised if something bad happens to her. Something as simple as losing her job or getting injured, I, I don't care. All I'm saying is, something very bad could happen to her, and I will not feel sorry for this female. So, with all of that said, this concludes this episode of my incredible podcast. So, thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to hope smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, Share this with your boys and your families. Follow me on Instagram. Smash that bell notification button. And y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace out.